In the SI system, the unit of time is the second. It's the time for 9,192,630,1,770 cycles of radiation from the cesium-133 atom. This is measured by an atomic clock or radio clock. Atoms in pure cesium exist in two forms, low energy, high energy. These two forms are key because, one, they can be separated by a magnet. Two, low energy atoms turn high when bombarded with the right radiation. Here's how it happens. Heat cesium chloride to create gaseous cesium ions. The stream has both low and high energy ions. A magnet separates the two, high energy is discarded. Low energy ions enter a chamber. In the chamber, they're bombarded with precise radiation, making them jump to high energy. As they exit, another magnet directs high energy ions to a detector. The detector converts ions to current. Here's the trick. The current is tied to a quartz oscillator. When the quartz slows down, the radiation changes. Fewer ions reach the detector, current drops. This tells the electronics to zap the quartz. A proper voltage restores its oscillation using the piezoelectric effect. This feedback loop keeps the clock accurate. How accurate? Atomic clocks lose less than a second in 10 million years.